Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dr. Grice, your instructor for MED 104, which is medical terminology. And this is uh, chapter one. So uh, we already discussed, like, let's get to the crux of the matter. Um, and skip over uh, learning outcomes and the purposes of why we're studying this. Well, know the difference between, this is essentially um, a review video, so we're uh, going a little bit faster. Know the difference between an eponym and an acronym. Any acronym that is mentioned in lecture is fair game for the quiz and of course for uh, the eventual um, exam. Eponyms are named after names like Lou Gehrig's disease, down syndrome, um, uh, Purkinje fibers, they're named after people, people's names. And an acronym, like for MRI, is Magnetic Resonance Imaging. Other acronyms that we kind of mentioned in class was AMI, Acute Myocardial Infarction, also known as a heart attack, CVA, Cerebrovascular Accident, also known as a stroke. CT, which is another test, like an MRI, is a computerized tomography. And EKG can either be EKG or ECG, and that's your electrocardiogram. And I believe those are the acronyms um, that we went over in class today. And this is a quick review based on the first lecture, um, term nine, November 2022. And um, this is November 7th. These other slides are nice to know and you should go over them, um, but let's just jump right in. You will see um, uh, medical terms cut into pieces like this. Now, it, we're not talk about them being cut into syllables, but we're going to talk about them being cut into, um, uh, into parts. And if you look at the first part here, a little bit small, let's make it a little bit bigger. Um, the classic uh, uh, term, uh, medical term, or beginning medical term is the word cardiology. So the things that you need to know are the parts of a medical term and, uh, and actually what the medical term means. So of course, cardiology, logi means study of, cardi is heart, so this is the study of the heart. We start here at the back end and move our way front, so study of, heart. Um, and the main part of uh, medical terminology or medical term is called the root. The O, which is almost 99% of the time, almost all the time, is, uh, I forgot the exception, but uh, for our purposes, um, the O is a combining vowel, and the combining form equals the root plus the combining vowel, so that is cardio. So I could ask, what is the root of the word cardiology? You'll tell me cardi. What is the combining vowel of the word, the medical term cardiology? It is O. What is the combining form of the term cardiology? It is cardi slash O. And lastly, what is the suffix or the end of the medical terminology? Um, for example, in the word cardiology is, of course, logi. Any part before the root is known as a prefix. And um, for example, the term endocardium, um, means structure of, that is the suffix. Cardi, of course, is the root, and endo is the prefix, and endo is the prefix meaning within. So the endocardium is the structure within the heart. So it's the innermost structure. Other examples could be pericardium. We mentioned that as well. Oops, just got the paper there. Pericardium. And of course, the prefix is peri, meaning surrounding. Endocardium, pericardium. And let's give you one more for laughs. Myocardium. It's the structure of muscle of the heart. So it's the middle layer, myocardium, pericardium is the outer tough layer, and the endocardium is the delicate inner layer. So um, you can see how your prefix can help you, um, especially with the layers in your anatomy and physiology classes. 
and anatomy. Let's cut that up too. Anatomy means to cut into pieces. Anna is the root pieces. Tomi is the suffix to cut. In physiology. Study of physics, which is how things work. Okay. All right. Let's minimize this and let's go through some more terms. Here's some examples of some roots: Arthur, Cardi, and Enter. Arthritis is uh, an example word: inflammation of the um, joint space. Carditis, which is inflammation of the heart. Enteritis, which is inflammation or infection of the intestines. And when we talk enteritis, we typically talk about the small intestines. Uh, hemo, hemolysis is the breakdown of blood. Hemo, blood, it's a root. Hemac, uh, hematology, logi, study of blood. So hemo and hemac means blood. Here's some different words for uh, vascular or blood vessels. And the blood vessel is essentially the tubing that connects to your heart. It's arteries, veins, and capillaries. So if I have an angiogram, um, that is an actual physical recording of my blood vessels. If I'm performing a vasovagal exercise, it has something to do with my vasculature, right? Uh, remember the story I taught in class on how to, you know, when they crack your back and stuff like that and hold your breath and you kind of faint. That's a vasovagal response. Vasculo or vascular, AR, pertaining to vascul, which is your blood vessels. Here are some terms that are good. Of course, uh, the root is here is patho, which means uh, uh, disease. And um, let me see if I can cut these. No. Patho is disease, gen is uh, creation of, and ik. Another uh, generation or creation um, word is um, immunogenic, something that will create immune, an immune response or a good immune system. Pathogenic is something that can create disease. Water is hydro, so hydrophobia, meaning uh, they're afraid of water. Dehydration, uh, D is a prefix that means no or not, or without, so without hydration. It means my parent, uh, my patients have a lot of water. Morphology, logi means study of. Morph can either be change or shape. So morphology in anatomy and physiology and in medical terminology also could mean morph, could also mean shape. Dematos, uh, the the dermatomycosis is an abnormal condition. Osis is the suffix that means abnormal condition. Dermat and uh, myco are both. Um, root words and they're connected with a O, which is a uh, combining vowel. So dermat means skin, myco means fungus, so skin, um, abnormal condition of skin fungus. Necrosis is abnormal condition of uh, death or cell death. Orthodontist is a practitioner that straightens up your teeth. And the dentist is the practitioner that does, of course, all other related dental work. Pathology, logi, study of disease or the department that studies disease. And we talked about biopsies and biopsies were um, are going to be done uh, by the Department of Pathology. Also, autopsies are also done by the Department of Pathology. Eat, phage is eat or phago, phagio is another way to pronounce it. So aphasia means my patient isn't eating. Dysphagia, my patient is having a difficult or painful time eating. And polyphagia, my patient is eating too much. Formation is plas. So plastic surgery is a formation or reformation of someone's face or, or breast tissue or whatever the formation may be. Hyperplasia means too much formation. Hypoplasia 
means not enough. Aplasia means no formation, that means no development, no growth. Pyemia, pyrrhea, pyo means pus. And pus is simply a combination of your uh, dead white blood cells and, of course, dead bacteria or dead foreign body. Because, you know, in any uh, battlefield, there's going to be dead things all over the place. And when you have pus, that's a battlefield for infection. Or itis, inflammation. Scleroderma is something that's hard. So sclera is hard, derma is skin. So scleroderma is the hardening of skin. Stenosis is the abnormal condition of narrowing. Uh, hypertrophy, hypertrophy. Hyper means too much, trophy means growth. So hypotrophy means not growing at all. And atrophy means, I mean, hypotrophy means uh, growing very little. But atrophy is the exact opposite, which is not growing at all. So you have hypertrophy, hypotrophy, and atrophy. Those are potential words for that. Xenograft, nice to know, means foreign graft. If you're xenophobic, it means you're, uh, you have a fear or an unrational fear of um, foreigners, xenos. Um, pertaining to all the ones on this, um, um, on this page means it is an adjective. So cardiac pertaining to the heart, skeletal pertaining to the skeleton, muscular pertaining to muscles, pulmonary pertaining to the lungs, esophageal is pertaining to your esophagus or your uh, food tube, uh, medic ick pertaining to um, that particular person, or we went through neurotic and psychotic, right? Ick pertaining to or tick comparing, comparing, pertaining to. Neurotic, neurotic is abnormal nervousness, psychotic is abnormal um, thinking, abnormal, abnormal psyche. Psyche is your mind and how you think. Subcutaneous, us means pertaining to, sub is the prefix meaning under, cutane means uh, skin. So a subcutaneous injection is going to go where? Underneath your skin. Pneumonia, state or condition of uh, lungs, uh, lung disease. Autism, ism is a uh, condition. It's a spectrum. That means it has very, very mild symptoms and it also has very severe, uh, depending on patient. Um, the peri, endo, and myocardium we already talked about, and um is the suffix that means structure of. Hypertrophy we already talked to as well. Things that are small is ickle, ole, and ule. So a ventricle is a uh, small room in your brain and in your heart, or relatively small. An arterial is a small artery. A venule is a small vein. A pustule is a very small, uh, you know, like a bag of pus, like a, like, a, like a zit. That's a pustule. And last but not least, small is uvula, your uvula, is this rudder that's in, you know, the thing that looks like the punching bag in the middle of your uh, throat, you know, when you say ah to the doctor, that's your uvula. It is a rudder that steers the food into your esophagus, your food tube. It's a small little rudder called your uvula. Tomi means to cut, ectomy means to cut out or to remove or to excise. So remember, anatomy is to cut into parts. Laparotomy is to cut open your abdomen. Um, but an appendectomy is removal of your appendix. A hysterectomy is removal of your ovary. Specialist study of, logi, logist, you get the drift of that. Pediatrics, peds, right? Walking, so the younger patients. Right, psychiatry, psych, think mind, psychiatrist, specialist, and these people in psychiatry and the Department of Psychiatry is, they're NDs. That means they can, um, you know, they can look at your medically as well. But they typically use psychoanalysis, right? They have to talk to the patient, get to what's going on in their head. Analysis means lysis, the breakdown, ana, and parts. So psychoanalysis is to break down somebody's mind into parts, so you can see what's up. 
psychology does the same thing, right? But psychology is a PhD, not an MD. So a psychologist cannot deliver meds. Alja means pain. So myalgia means muscle pain, muscle pain, excuse me. Gastrodynia means pain in your stomach. Gastritis could give you gastrodynia. Myositis is uh, inflammation and infection of your, um, your muscles. That can give you myalgia. Hydrocele, okay? Uh, just know it's bulging tissue in the area where it doesn't belong. Hydro, it's kind of filled with water. But uh, I'm more about like rectocele and copocele. Rectocele is a uh, herniation of your rectum and your copocele is herniation of your vaginal canal. Leukemia, emia means blood condition of Luke white. So it's a white blood cell condition problem. Anemia means no blood condition or um, diminished blood condition. Lithiasis, asis is like osis, abnormal condition. Asis, abnormal condition of lith. Lithiasis means it's a normal condition of um, stone. And as long as you have um, fat, salt, and sugar in your body, you can make a stone, just like my mom's crumb cake. Well, my mom can't cook, so I'm making that up. Arthritis, inflammation, or infection of your joint space. Remember the five cardinal signs and symptoms of itis or inflammation. There is redness, swelling, pain, heat, and last but not least, functional lasea, that particular uh, thing does not work, right? So if I have carditis, that particular area is not working very well of my heart. It's going to be red, it's going to be painful and or itchy, most likely painful, and it's gonna form a bump somewhere known as a tumor, right? Remember, don't say the word tumor or mass to our patient, it gets them a little bit on the excited side. Um, hemolysis, breakdown, arthritis, inflammation, or infection of your joint space. Osteomalacia, uh, ia is state or condition, osteo is bone, and uh, mal, those is bad. So state or condition of bad bones or softening of your bones. Your bones should be hard, they should be soft. Hepatomegaly, megaly is the process of enlargement, hepat, your liver. Splenomegaly, enlargement, abnormal enlargement of your spleen. Cardiomegaly, abnormal enlargement of your heart. And I think those are the three main ones. Regarding tumors, uh, if you see the word carcinoma, that's a cancerous tumor. Sarcoma, that is a fleshy tissue, highly malignant cancerous tumor. And of course, um, tumor itself is considerably benign until the biopsy tells us whether it's cancer or not or carcinoma. Uh, uh, and melano means dark or very, very dark brown, black color. So a melanoma should look very dark brown, almost black in color. Thrombosis, abnormal condition of thrombo, which is a blood clot. Thrombus is a blood clot. And if I have abnormal blood clots, I will have thrombosis. Myopathy, uh, remember stated that the word pathy could also be a root and a suffix here. So the process of what? Disease. The process of disease in muscle, and that's called a myopathy. Last on this page, the leukopenia. Remember pennies, the other one too. Penia means small, chump change. Leuco means white blood cell. So for whatever reason, the white blood cell is very, very low. And if that's very, very low, you'll have a hard time fighting infection. Nephrotosis is an actual uh, physical lowering or drooping. Tosis alone, P-T-O-S-I-S, -S, simply means, um, you know, the drooping of my eyelids when you're sleepy, something that I'm kind of doing right now. But nephrotosis, nephro means uh, kidney. It's when the kidney isn't... Um, you know, held together right in that particular area, either on purpose or accident, and your nephro or your kidneys will droop, droop or drop. Hemorrhage means excessive flow of blood. Hemo is blood. Menorrhagia is excessive uh, blood flow 
during the menstrual cycle, meaning to say is the menstrual cycle or pads per day alpha is excessive, it's too much. Diarrhea, complete and thorough, rhea, which is uh, flow. So diarrhea is complete or uh, thorough flow. And we talked about the dangers of dehydration in class as a side note. Um, so uh, beware of that in the very, very old patient and the very, very young. Last in this phase was myospasm. If you remember the young lady who uh, was in a very, very uh, tight outfit and she had a spasm due to my speakers, apparently. Myo is muscle, spasm is involuntary contraction. What kind of tests do we have? Amniocentesis, which is a surgical puncture of the amnion, which is the uh, fluid-filled sac that baby lies in. Cardiogram, graph, and graphy, that's an EKG, electrocardiogram, electrocardiograph, electrocardiography. Gram is the actual record of it, whether it be paper or whether it be on the computer screen or whether it would be a file. The process of recording it is cardiography or electrocardiography. And that is a whole, a whole process that you, of course, will learn. And cephalometer versus cephal uh, cephalometry. Cephalometer versus cephalometry. What is that? The meter is the measure that's used to measure the cephal, which is the head. Cephalometry is the actual process of it. Okay, so the cephalometer could be a tape measure to measure the kid's um, um, head circumference or it could be um, oh, excuse me. oh boy, I should have took a nap before I did this. Oh well, lessons learned. So cephalometer, think the exact instrument. Cephalometry, think the process. That's the thing I'm going to schedule. Arthroscope looks into um, uh, into my knee, uh, and we're performing arthroscopy. And scope, what are we doing? We are visually inspecting using that instrument. Arthrodesis, binding or fixation of your joint space. Remember I told you about my hand and how they put pins through it. Vasectomy, ectomy, what are we doing with our X's? We cut them out. What are we cutting out in this case? The vas deferens, also known as the ductus deferens, so that uh, that particular male patient won't get anyone pregnant. Retinopexy, eh, nice to know, but pexy means the same thing as desis. It looks good for a uh, both A and B question. Rhinoplasty, mammoplasty, that's what? Plastic surgery, reconstruction surgery. Rhino is your nose, rhinoplasty or nose job. Mammoplasty, mammo is breast or breast or boob job. Herniography, suture of that hernia, that thing is sticking out. Colostomy, that's that bag that patients wear, and it's a port that has a direct connection to the outside world, into a tube, into a bag, that's also connected inside my patient. Last but not least, uh, dermon dermotomy. Dermotomy is, um, dermo means skin, and tomi means to cut, so to cut into skin. Remember those are a picture. You'll see a picture like okay. Sorry for the pause. I was reading something and about to pass out. So let's focus. Know the difference between singular and plural. This is side twenty-seven. This is very good. Again, singular and plural. Side twenty-eight. Let's pause here. So when you look at it, you can pause this pause. We did the same with the other eye. Uh, I'll pause on the other one as well. You can look at this. And again, pause here. Get these words down. Know which one is singular and which one's plural. Here are uh, prefixes that say no or against something. Aphasia, can't speak, right? So not speaking. Anemia, not normal level of blood, or blood condition of not normal. Uh, antibiotics are um, medications that will anti, uh, kill, bio, life, and what life in particular? 
won't try to get that life in particular, but there's a lot of friendly fire going on with chemicals. So a antibiotic fights against bacteria. Contraceptive fights against um, conceiving or conception, um, which is uh, pregnancy. And dehydration is away from or down from hydration or water. Before is ante or antepartum or regarding delivery of the baby. Postpartum is after. And part is short for the term parturition. Precondition means a condition before your actual defined condition. So pre is before. Probiotic means before or on behalf of. Bradycardia means slow heart rate, or ia is state or condition of slow heart rate. Ia over here is state or condition of fast heart rate. And rehabilitation, to go back. When you habitate something, that means you're living it. You're reliving your life, getting your life back together. Through, you know, one of the many 12-step programs around it in this world. Ooh, I said uh, uh, slide 31, so from rehabilitation on. So let's now go over the other slides, which, um, probably, which I'm probably definitely going to go over Wednesday. But if we don't have time, um, you have this video. So when you abduct somebody or abduct your arm from midline, which is the middle of your body, that, that particular movement is called abduction because you're abducting, you're moving away. But if you're moving towards, you have adduction. So that's A-D-D-U-C-T, adduction. Okay, I think I might have to edit some of this. But just fast forward. Okay. Mm. Uh, adrenaline, I don't like that one. I like adduction better. And remember, two things that sound alike. Um, around, circum. So if you're circumcised, the incision is around the head of the penis of the glands penis. Well, kind of exposing. It cuts actually the uh, foreskin, which is prep use, right? Pericardium, we already went over. Diagnosis is uh, dia, complete or thorough. And a lot of uh, um, medical terminology texts say through, but I like thorough. And for translate, I like across. Trans means across. Um, so uh, when you translate something, uh, you're going to uh, move it across from one person to another person. Evoke, E means what? Out, ectopic, an ectopic presidency is a um, fertilization and attempted implantation of a fertilized egg in a place that is out of place or ectopic. Exhale, of course, what do I want to do with that breath? I exhale it. I get it out of my lungs and in, into the atmosphere. Ectoderm, it's the um, layer of skin on the outside. Exoskeleton is the outside of the skeleton. Uh, an enema, endocrine. Endocrine is nice, endo. Crin means um, the suffix to secrete, or you know, for the lack of a better term, to squirt something out. Intravenous means inside or within the vein. Epididymis means upon or right on top of. So your epidermis is the topmost layer that's upon the what? The dermis or the main skin layer. Subcutaneous, another word for skin is cutaneous, and subcutaneous is underneath the skin. And last on this particular page, intercostal. Those are the arteries, veins, and nerves, and including muscle symptoms that are inter or in between your ribs. Your ribs is costal. Al pertaining to cost is ribs. So the, uh, the intercostal space is the space in between two ribs. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, bilateral, right? And unilateral. Bilateral means what? Bi means two. Uni means one. Later means to the side. So bilateral means two sides. Um, unilateral means only one side. 
um, let's say I have a bicep. How many muscles are in that group? Two. Tricep, how many muscles in that group? Three. Hemiplegia means half paralysis or half can't move, half can't feel. And semi-lunar is, lunar is pertaining to the moon. Semi means half. And you'll see that in the aortic and uh, pulmonic semi-lunar valves in your heart. And I think that's we need to be anatomy and physiology. Hyperthermia versus hypothermia, that's pretty for, uh, straightforward. Large macro, small micro. So macro, right, um, like uh, megaly. Right? So if my uh, newborn patient is experiencing macrosomia, that means they're what? They're large, they're huge. Microdontia is, you know, when someone was born with uh, teeth, that's microdontia. It's kind of creepy, actually, in my opinion. Looks like they're on filters and just won't go away. Monocyte, unisex, oligomenorrhea. Mono, one. Uni, one. We already learned that one. Few, oligo. Oligomenorrhea is when um, our patient's monthly, uh, monthly flow is slowly, slowly becoming few or becoming less in number. Like little by little by little. Like one day, I only need three pads. The next day, I only need one. The other day, I need none. And that quick. But it's slowly, it's like creeping up. Uh, creeping, it's like it's like a creeping reduction. That's the best way to put it. And that's what's oligomenorrhea. Or oliguria. Urea means what? To urinate from. So polyuria means my patient is uh, urinating too much. But oligo uh, ol oliguria is when my patient's output becomes less and less and less. There's still some left in the bag, but it's becoming less and less and less. There's a pattern. Something that's pan, like a pandemic, means what? It's happening all over. So pancytopenia is what? All your cells are small or in small in number. Okay, multicellular, polygraph, polyurine, whatever, again. Con is with, so if you're having congestion, it's along with your breathing. So the problem is with you. And actually, um, no, I don't want to go into that. Syndrome, sin means the same or running together. So a syndrome like AIDS, it's caused by one thing, but all that, this one thing, a whole bunch of things are running together. Like the patient has pneumocystis carina and pneumonia. The patient also has Kaposi sarcoma. The patient has, also has a very low CD4 T helper cell count. That's all running together. And that's what a syndrome is called. Symmetry, with or together. Mm. Sorry, I had to get that yawn out. Dysentery, remember, dis, you dis somebody is bad. Enterics, right, are your small intestines. So the process of your enterics or your small intestine. Uh, being bad or abnormal. Euphoria, you, EU means what? Good or normal within the realm or spectrum of things. So euphoria is the good feelings you get. And so precursor to, um, you know, when you take bad drugs or so I'm told. So that is chapter one and those are the words. And now I'm going to uh, publish a list on uh, what kind of words that can come out? And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each one of these slides and just make up some um, um, make up some um, um, some questions. And remember, I could ask about the parts, or I could ask about the meaning. I could give you the meaning, and then you give me the uh, the actual medical term, and vice versa. You could do it that way as well. All right, thank you for listening to this lecture. Uh, hopefully I'll have time to do uh, uh, chapter two before Wednesday, and um, I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Thank you very much. Hmm. Can I stop? Mm -hmm.